I do not, God. How about some coffee? It's delicious, I assure you. Mm. Uh, you said something uh, recently that uh, stuck in my mind. It's almost like one of those things that... Why didn't I think of that? Except I have that, all, I have that moment all the time. You said, uh, uh, this is a video site. You know, what's up with all this keyboard action? Keyboard gangsters firing shots back and forth. Um, and I thought, yeah, actually, because uh, if you discount uh, all the typing, uh, you know, occasionally, hey, great video, man. Um, if you discount that, if you pull that away, then I've never spoken to you. Uh, which suddenly made me feel uh, even more uh, misanthropic than I normally feel. Um, and so, uh, let's remedy to that. Let's say, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Earl. <laughs> and uh, another thing that uh, I, I was thinking about watching your videos, uh, I've made uh, I've made some pretty. Uh, declarative uh, uh, choices about uh, not having children, uh, for one, and uh, also living in a sustainable manner. Um, I live in a, uh, a 13 by, a 13 foot by 6 foot uh, a cabin that I built myself. And uh, it's, it's holding together, <laughs> season after season. Um, yeah, the whole idea of giant homes, landlords. Hmm. Uh, you know, and then uh, then finding a, a job that uh, also did uh, as little to no damage as I could, uh, trying to be uh, trying to be disconnected uh, or gently connected. Yeah, you know, something like uh, sweeping the streets. <laughs> you know, that's what uh, that's what I look to do for money. Um, though, uh, as far as like children, uh, having children, and my decision not to have children, um, I had a uh, I was in a relationship for a long time with this really lovely woman, and uh, she had a daughter. And as time went on. Um, I started feeling that this this love and uh, wanting to be a really good human being and a really good man around uh, this young lady, her daughter. And uh, it's not like I wanted to be her father, um, but I wanted to be a really good man uh, for uh, for her. And then the, the fact that I loved her mom and then grew to love her, I suddenly experienced twice as much love uh, than I've ever felt before. It was astounding. It was like, it was really, I had to like say, is this really what I'm feeling? Um, do I feel twice as much love in my life? Um, it, was, it was astounding. It was a, uh, it was kind of a groundbreaking uh, moment for me and it didn't, uh, it didn't change my idea of uh, having a child, but it really gave me a, uh, a different perspective on why people have them. Why people, uh, despite knowing, having a good idea of uh, what life has to offer and the challenges, do they still say, yeah, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw my, uh, my child into that. Um, and hopefully they'll, uh, amongst the misery, hopefully they'll discover as many uh, uh, adventures and, uh, and miracles as I did. And then, uh, uh, as far as uh, my house goes, um, I tried home ownership. I got, I got that 30-year loan. And, uh, uh, boy, that was, that was a nightmare. And... I tried uh, renting. I had a roommate uh, set my uh, house on fire once. Yeah, and uh, he really didn't. He, was, he only kind of, he actually kind of felt like that's just kind of stuff happens. That kind of stuff happens. I, you know, I think that kind of stuff happens in his life. 
And if everyone would just calm down about it and stop yelling, why are you doing this? <laughs> oh. And you know, then at one point in time, I had a career uh, with a small mom and pop place, actually. Um, then I watched, uh, I watched what could go wrong uh, when you uh, you hang your hat on someone else's peg. You know, so they might not take very good of that peg, and your hat might end up falling on the ground, and they might even step on it after that. Yeah, so it's a challenging old, th challenging old thing finding your way, and uh, that's why I think uh, when it comes to finding my own way, I do it. Uh, I do it based on what I think's best for me, and uh, uh, more and more, the older I get, the the, the more I, I wish to ignore any other advice other than my own. Um, I still listen to it, um, and you know, it still registers. Uh, but really, I think that the most important thing you could do is figure things out for yourself. Yeah. And then if that turns out to be wrong, well, you'll have made that mistake on your own. You know, it won't be a mistake that uh, the, the small business owner made that jeopardized your job, or it won't be the mistake that your roommate made that jeopardized your uh, living arrangement. Um, I wish to make my own mistakes based on uh, my own thoughts, that kind of thing. Uh, well, kind of a hello, how are you introduction, um, and uh, uh, an apology for uh, ignoring somebody that's uh, a tribe member uh, when I really should have been introducing myself uh, way back, not with a keyboard, but with, with my mug, or mugs. Oh, and you can see the food gardens right over there. Uh, Foo's Garden, which just got thoroughly mowed down, but it's bouncing back. It takes a licking. It's not. It's not going to let uh, adversity tell it it needs to not grow. Nope. All right, do not God. Pleasure to have coffee with you, and I'll see you in the tubes.